Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this video, I will analyze the data based upon a box pin can design. The experimentation is performed on a CNC milling machine. A surface milling operation has been performed on it. Let's go to the mini tab and first generate the design. So for the generation of the design, go to stat, then DOE, then response surface, create a response surface. You will get such a window in which you will have to enter the number of continuous factors. I have three of them. Then go to design. So number of center points default three. However, I am taking two. So I've entered or click on the custom and two. Number of replicates one, blocks one. Click OK. After that, go to factors. Write the name of factor. Just like you can see, I have written, I'm writing cutting speed and enter there low and high levels 500 1040 and 60 for the feed rate 0 0.2 0 0.4 for the depth of cut click ok then go to options please uncheck this randomize runs click ok and then the results you will have nothing to do click ok so you got a design in which there are few columns standard order from round 1 to 14 then run order also 1 to 14 why because I have unchecked the randomized run. However, in order to perform the experiment, I suggest you people to please check the randomized run. So, so you will get a random order. However, if you have unchecked it, so again perform these experiment in a random order. Then cutting speed, feed, depth of cut. Now we will have to write a heading of a new column. MRR material removal rate. Now we have to enter the data for the material removal rate. How you will enter? For example, 1.21. Just like in the Excel, you can enter the whole data. To save the video time, I have copied and pasted the whole material removal rate values. Now we will have to analyze it. Go to stat, DOE, response surface, analyze response surface design. Click on it. Select the response MRR, then go to graphs in graph please select this four in one because it will tell us about the model adequacy go to the options here you will have nothing to do then go to result select here expanded tables then click ok and then ok so the model is going to be analyzed to view only results click on this output only so first of all come down and have a look on these graphs. So the first graph is saying that the data is almost randomly distributed around this line. There are no significant outliers from, from the central line. Again, the histogram is also supporting the same that the data is somehow following normal distribution. This versus fits versus residual is telling us that the number of uh, points having positive residual above this dotted line dashed line are somehow equal to number of points below this dashed line. So it means that there is equality of variance in this data. Now this fourth one residual versus the fit uh, versus order. This graph is showing that there is no specific patterns are followed in this experiment and the data points are independent of each other. Click OK. Now go. Now we will discuss our model summary. Model summary depicts that 63.72% variation in the material removal rate is due to these model terms, linear terms, square and two-way interaction terms. However, the R square adjusted value is 0, 0.00. That's too much low. Why? This is because we have the P value associated with all over linear square and two-factor interaction terms is greater than 0 0.05. You can look here, here. that's Cutting speed has a p-value of 0 0.395. That is too much greater than 0 0.05, thus found to be insignificant. Likewise, all of these terms are insignificant. So the R-square adjusted value here comes out to be 0 0.000. Why this happened? Because this data is collected during the student's lab perform on a small-scale machine that's a, that a pilot machine, just only for the study purposes. However, in order to find the exact effect of these parameters on on the material removal rate we have to perform these experiments on some commercial scale uh, machine so that we get we will get these factors as a that have a significant effect now after this we will again go to stat in order to get 
over contour plots so again start doe response surface here click on contour plots we will get the contour plot for the response variable mrr having getting speed on x-axis feed rate on the y-axis just click on contour here select contour lines and symbol and a design point click ok and then click ok so you will get a contour plot like this here it is telling us that the light light green area it is showing that the material removal rate is less than 0 0.05 However, the dark green area, greenish area is telling that that is that the material removal rate is greater than 1.50. As we want to maximize our removal material removal rate, so this point is obtained at a cutting speed of 1000 and a feed rate of 60. So these are the preferable conditions for the two factors for the material removal rate. Likewise, you will you can draw the control plot for rest of the combination in the similar way however you will have to make slight changes in the setting which one either you will have to change x or y axis for example i am changing the depth of cut in the y axis so i will get a new control plot in which i have depth of cut on the y axis and again i have i have got the maximum material removal rate value on the same speed at 1000 and depth of cut at 0 0.4 now we will move towards the surface plot again stat doe response surface now click on surface plots you will have to again select some uh, response parameter on x axis y axis and your response that is material removal rate go to settings and then here you can adjust your depth of cut right now it is selected 0 0.3 i will not change it click ok and then click ok you will get surface plots but these are not as attractive as i made the surface plot in my another video in the design expert now it's time to go to again for the optimizer that's the most important thing stat doe response surface response optimizer so here select your response material removal rate we want to maximize it so select the option maximize then go to setup you can see that i have entered the low and the targeted value or upper value of the material removal rate because my goal is to maximize it click ok and then go to the options here you can either constrain it or you can or you can hold the value at a specific point it's up to you however right now i have entered that there no there is no constraint on the values for the parameters then click ok so you will get a response sir, response optimizers that is the most important thing so you can see here that the optimal desirability value of 0 0.996 that's a very attractive value near to one because the one is the ideal so my optimized values are cutting speed 1000 feed rate 60 and depth of cut 40 these three settings will maximize my material removal rate and you can see with the increase in speed the material removal rate increases with the increase in feed and again with the depth of cut the material removal rate increases the last thing is the prediction go to stat doe response surface now we will have to predict click on this predict button and now you can predict in two ways either you will have to enter the individual values of the parameters or you can you can see that enter the column of the values means you will, you will you can select the column in which the data for the cutting speed feed rate and depth of cut right now for example for teaching purposes i'm entering the individual values for example i'm saying that at a cutting speed of 950 feed rate of 0. Point, uh, sorry feed rate of 55 and a depth of cut of 0. 0.4 now predict the results only uh, go to the options and then okay two-sided okay the results it's okay based upon the regression equation view model so in order to perform this prediction if you have some significant and insignificant terms in your model you can delete the insignificant one however in our model all of the terms are insignificant so just for the teaching purposes i am retaining all of them then click ok and you will get prediction predicted values that is 1.77 you will get this value at these settings thanks a lot for watching the video bye